Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Polybridge. If you've been enjoying the series remember to leave a like as always thank you for your support on the videos. We're going to jump right into it and do Swing Swinger Bridge. Now I was thinking we've got five levels left. Hopefully this will be the episode where we can do three in one. I thought this looked kind of easy and then I realised it's sort of not. So we got to start off by yeah creating something like that. Imagine you've got something along this lines here. Um, you know, all, all gridded up with, with iron so it's nice and stable. The car's going to drive off into this and then the whole thing is going to swing over using this bit in the middle. That's what I thought it would be like and now I realise that's quite foolish for multiple reasons. Uh, first of all, if it's going to swing, it's going to go under the water, right? So I don't know how that's going to work. i really got no idea actually. Um, the other thing is, the car's got to drive over here first, so the action doesn't start immediately. There is some sort of waiting period, and you can see here that with a little bit of wood to hold it together, it doesn't really do too much. Maybe with a cable, when the car falls into here, it creates some sort of tension, and then it falls off. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's sort of reasonable, but then we've got this problem up here. So that's not the way to do it. How do we get this thing to shuffle from one side all the way to the other without going under the water. Okay, I got a bit of a crazy idea here, which is that we have to make the swing, like we have to change the shape of the swing here. I really don't know how to describe this. I had these cables like this, um, so you know, there's your swinging action, but if we are to go a little bit lower down, like this, then we can perhaps swing a road lower than that, so Let's pretend that there is a road here, and this is just this is just a little bit of an idea slash mock up or whatever. Um, we need like a basic frame here to hold it up, and no, that would swing from the top, I think. Also, I think the position of this is completely wrong. <laughs> uh, let's put it like there, but then let's remove that and that as well. So now there's now there's two swings happening at once. Right, and it doesn't go below... Do you know what? I think all of this is useless. <laughs> not all of that, just that bit. Right, because now everything else... Like, that does, that's not going below the water thanks to this. So, maybe if its shape were a little bit different... It could be like a little bit of a ramp for this thing to go into. So... Oh yeah, the other problem is that it's going to swing away immediately. So how long does it take for this thing to get over there. This is terrible. I know I just making a little mock-up that's turned the grid off. So we've got a little bit of strength there. So it needs to wait until that thing lands on it, which is going to be really difficult. So again, if we if we cut that and move this thing, let's turn the grid on even further over, like so. And then we make oh no it goes to the bottom one. And again we'll delete that. We'll cut this and also Put this one over to, I don't know, something like that, maybe? That's just surely going to rip it, like, right out. But we'll see. Oh, and I've made... What have I done there? The angle's much bigger. It's because it's just further away, isn't it? So that distance is going to sort of exaggerate itself. Okay, oh, no, 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 not a copy. We want to make a cut. So this thing needs to be a lot closer. Let's say we put it there. Delete that. And then connects, in fact, that's probably shorter if it connects to the top. There we go, another improvement. Now, can the car get onto it? Probably not. No, it just shoots straight off. So we need a way for the car to get on there. If we anchor this thing to the ground, can it get on there and then it goes? We might have to use a rope. Okay, so this is like getting further and further removed. But let's do that and then let's add a rope. Right, and then hopefully it will break the rope when it lands on it. Well, there's an idea in action, right? That that seemed to do something. I think we've got to tweak this a lot. Let's give it another go. Okay, we found our idea. Let's see if I can simplify this and make it a little bit better. Okay, big improvements, big progress. And I won't make any adjustments. You will see this thing in action. Let's go for 100% speed. So it gets on, it breaks, it goes all the way over here, and you know it almost sends it all the way across, which is quite promising. Um, what I've learned, though, if we turn the grid on, 
is that the height of this makes a tremendous difference to the stability of everything. If we send this upwards, yeah, you'll see it sort of pulled it across a bit and it causes more swing. So having it low down helps a lot. Maybe we should have it even lower. I think that might be a little bit lower than it was before, actually. So on it goes. Oh, except it doesn't go on. No, it doesn't, does it? Okay, give it another little tweak. Hopefully it holds on. There are actually two ropes there. I couldn't get it to work with just the one. That's interesting. If it sort of just rolls on there and breaks as well, that might actually be really good. So that's about as far as the road's going to go. And wow! Okay, the top collapsed. So a lot of tension goes there. Let's make sure this is aligned to the grid. There we go. Another attempt. <laughs> there was a moment there where it looked like something good might happen, but, but no. I've just noticed something interesting. It's going to say we fail before we failed. I think once the car goes into water, you failed. Because it almost made it to the other side. So let's change the shape of these, and that's going to change the dynamics of just about everything else here. Oh, it actually holds. Okay, can you get on? You can. It breaks. You didn't hit the water, but then... Ah, now if that bit... Something else broke. Let's see what broke, because... Oh, wow. Hmm. Here's another interesting thing. You can replace the cables with steel, and it seems to be a little sturdier. I've been able to be more flexible with the changes and adjustments that I've made. So now the problem is, as it comes forward, I feel like the distance between here and here is just too much. Can we get away with it just connecting to there? Don't know if that's going to favour us in any way at all. Doesn't look like it. Okay, this one is amazing. Check this out. Ah, oh, let me let me do that again so the camera's in the right position. <laughs> so it pulls it up, then it jumps onto it, which breaks the next bit. And, oh, not quite enough, unfortunately. So close now, so close now. Yeah, check this out. Look at that, amazing. And then, oh, oh not quite enough. So... Just need a little bit of a better ramp here. And again, this is probably going to stop everything from working. No, no, it looks like it's good for another attempt. And... Oh, it's going to do it! That was amazing! I love the way that ended. 14th on the leaderboard. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Up next is this little level right here. Fellowship of the Jump. And... I don't know... I feel sort of confident here because it seems like what you've got to do is fairly obvious. Now, the thing I want you to take notice of is that the cars at the top are going a little bit faster. We've got to get A1 over to here and A4, you know, like basically they've got to go to the other side and cross over. So, I just got doing a little, just got done doing a little test. Let's make this go up ever so slightly to about there and then make something very, very sturdy and a little bit overkill because we're just experimenting to begin with so we want to find out basically how far this thing can go there we go how or, or what it takes for it to get to the other side is what I'm saying so now we do this and it almost makes it I just realized though this might get in the way if we flip it and have it on the other side so let's make that go a little bit higher in fact quite a bit higher That's as far as it wants to go there how about something like that? Let's see what it does now. Very, very close. Just a little bit more. So my confidence was short-lived because this ain't going to work. Why is that they're going to hit each other <laughs> in mid-air? So I was just sort of wondering what happens if we were to remove the road so that it didn't make its way across, right? Would the other one actually hit the same road? Because if there are a way to slow down this one... Well, now I don't know if it would have hit it or not. It sort of looked like it went over the top. So, like, that's that's not going in the right... I really, really don't know how we're going to pull this one off. Okay, we've got a spectacular failure here, but it's part of my plan. So, these two are going to go into the water. These two will make it to their destinations. <laughs> that one does a flip. Sometimes he actually rolls over and gets to the end. So, that's cool. We can probably tweak that. Now what happens if we copy this, give it a flip, put it on the other side, we're over budget, <laughs> and then give it a whirl. They're going to whack identically. So I'm thinking, oh do you know what, I spent ages tweaking this when there's going to be a platform on the other side for it to land on. Let's rebuild this on this side, but let's do it differently. 
and I'm hoping they can take different paths when in <laughs> the air. I realise as I'm saying this, it's going to be kind of ridiculous. So maybe this one here has to do a little flip like that, so it goes up and then whoosh down there. Oh, it's going to be so difficult to get right. Okay, so a little more trial and error, and we're at a stage right here where this is actually really fun because it's showing potential. Now we're going to have to slow this one down. So this one goes right up in the air, that's cool. And that one's on target to go in there. And look at that, you know. How close are they all to getting across? And look, that one almost lands in there. So, oh, it feels like we're like one or two tweaks away from this being amazing and everything just bumping in the air and flying around and then just all of a sudden landing. So let's keep at it. Wow, so tons and tons of tweaking because I wanted you to just see where we've got to and I feel like we've got there. I've created two unique bridges on either side. We started off with a mirror and what we're trying to do here is get them to go on individual paths so they don't knock into each one one another. So top ones have got to go down, bottom ones have got to go up. You can see here very nearly making it through. Now those two have gone to the correct spot. That one there hasn't actually. That got nudged on the way through. So we are very very close now. But once they're all, you know, landing in the correct places and we can get them landing smooth, then we're kind of good to go. And all I'm really doing at the moment is tweaking this bit here and the bottom bit because the other two paths are pretty good. So we should get there soon. Okay, this is amazing. So let's do it again. Right, everything sort of goes to the correct destination with the exception of that one there. So if we can get that to land a little smoother. We might have done this, although of course the bridge gets broken. It sort of boils down to one factor, which is this bit right here, and I can't seem to get it to stop from braking, so watch this car here, it's the one that doesn't make its destination, and it's because of that little bit right there. Now if I change this drastically, it may mean we end up rebalancing everything, um, but I do believe it's the support of this little bit right here, and I'm not sure what to do. I was thinking about maybe having the road like that and let it fall down on top, but then it's probably going to affect the path of this thing. <sighs> or break the entire bridge. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. We're going to see it, don't worry. I was having tension issues on this side because fix this side by doing that, then it changes the landing on the other one. It's back and forth, it's back and forth. If you tweak something over here, then it's going to change the way they land on the other side. So, endless fine tuning, really. Let's see this. Let's see it at like 50%, the whole thing. In fact, maybe even slower in midair. Look at that. Precise timings, this thing. Bam! Lands with a crash. That one bounces over there. That one lands in a wheelie, and this one goes along as well. And then they do flips. This is where I think it might not always work. Look at that, that guy's going to get stuck, right? No, no, he's going, he's going. What about the one up here? We could actually speed this up. <laughs> oh, oh, he's doing it in style. That is the way you complete a level. Right. Uh, no. Menu, please. Let's have a quick look at the next one together. We're going to do three in this one. This one is called Drop Me Off. So we start with two cars, A1 and A2. Three hydraulic phases. They have to get, by the looks of it, down to the bottom. Um, then A1 wants to come back up or something. <laughs> okay, so A2 goes straight across, yet A1 goes down. Fascinating. Okay, it actually stops there, doesn't it? Then there must be hydraulic phase, then it's going to go down here, over there. And then all of that's got to fold back up and H goes across. So, really, it's like A goes across, this one goes down, and then comes back up and H goes across. So I've had about three or four attempts, and I'm wondering, am I onto something genuine here? Because you're going to see this is like kind of ridiculous. Um, so what we're doing is lowering this down. Then that guy's going to roll off the edge. We're going to give him a little bit of encouragement, and he rolls back. Now if he rolled back further, he hopefully drop down here, and then uh, go over there. I can't help but notice this is sort of like a half bite, but I don't think that's even important. So it's the speed at which he comes down from this bit. Now it might be a case of tweaking what we've already got, or it might be a case of, I don't know, do something else. Let's make that one a little less as well. Uh, speed it up. <laughs> and yeah, it's probably a lot of trial and error. Oh man, it looks like it might just go a little bit further. Right, and now I'm wondering, what if perhaps extending this bridge it went all the way over here? and then it tucked itself in to go down 
and then it... Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a cool idea. Let's give that one a try. Oh, there may just be a solution in this. Now, again, I've been doing a lot of tweaking, but I've just got it to where it sort of folds in and out in the way that I want. And check this out. So it wraps itself in, drops that guy down, gives him a little nudge, but it breaks the whole thing. And I reckon we could get away with doing that. I noticed the hydraulics started spazzing out there with a lot less of this. So let's change those and see what happens. Right, so that's enough to get it through the gap. Right, but the problem is it doesn't quite roll off and go back, does it? Again, that could be so... Well, actually, the problem is then that these extend fully. So maybe over here we contract a little bit less. I don't know. We could be tweaking this forever. Let's see what it does, though. No. Okay, I just realised something. That reinforcing this might just make a huge difference. A difference good enough to win us this level. Um, when it yeah, when it flicks out, it breaks, so that might stop it from breaking. But I've also tweaked this so that this one contracts more than that one, um, because I was thinking if this one's further out, it's more ready for the car to roll backwards. So there's still probably things to be tweaked here. Let's slow it down a little bit as well. There we go. And then it rolls out a little quicker. Now... Oh, so close! So close! And then it just starts freaking out. <laughs> It is freaking out. We've done it, we've done it. There are a lot of hydraulic phases here, so I want you to see all of them. Because I feel like I was trying to do it with just the first three. Then you land down the bottom, there's a hydraulic phase here. And yeah, so that goes up, that then opens up, then nothing happens. Right, so hopefully that makes sense. Either way, we've done it, man. These, these three levels, they were tough, but we seem to approach them the right way. And we got a little bit fortunate with this one, I feel like. Little flick, do a little backflip, down you go, mate. <laughs> Pick up your flag, and then yeah, that folds out. And amazing, isn't it? That's that level done. With a decent score on the budget. Don't think I'd be too fussed about lowering that. And up there in the in the leaderboards we are again. And look at how do these people do it with so low a budget? Awesome, awesome stuff. Peeps, let's have a sneak peek. <laughs> What's gonna be in the next episode? I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. It's going to be amazing. But that's it for me, this one. Hope you have enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like. As always, thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.